Yo, what is up, bros? Our first 1943 challenge conquest with Germany. And let me just say this. I was unprepared for the hell on the Eastern Front. I mean, I think the Soviets have max tier every elite unit, max ribbons, medals on all the generals. It's a godforsaken bloodbath, but inspection 100% on Chenault. What we're going to do is we're going to tag every single elite unit with a general on it so that they cannot fight back when we're attacking. I put a uh, rumor back on, I think, most all the generals. I don't know if you're if you would necessarily need that type of build if you're playing um, allies, but well, I, because I haven't played an ally country yet, but definitely for Germany and any other Axis country. Uh, yeah, you, you should probably have rumor on all the generals again. I thought we were done with having rumor on all the generals. I mean, could you do it without it? Especially with Chanel? Yeah, probably, but it is going to still make life easier for you. Now, I'm just going to hold out here with what we got. I think we got a Navy that can stop the landing. Um, we got two good artillery bros. I mean, we should be good against the UK. I'm not too worried about that. Mediterranean, I'm not worried about right now. I'm going to put our crappier artillery bros on our walking Stuka in Africa. And a couple tank bros. The crappier of the few that I've got. We'll save Tobolkin and Vidman for the UK, which is going to is that's going to be a long time away. I, I'm not worried about attacking the UK right now. The UK homeland anyways. Yeah, when I, the first time I tried this. Oh, yeah, Munchstein. Munstein is back to being the number one general because he can multiple because I can put rumor on him and he can multiple fire. Abrams uh, perks are fixed. I can't put rumor on him. So I'm thinking Munstein, even though you do a little bit less damage, you're number one again. Look, none of those, none of them are fighting back. Get effed. We're going to get down all our elite. Okay, this is the plan as far as... I'm pretty much sending everything east. All our tanks. All our elite tanks um, with the best generals are... All our elite artillery with the best generals. And it's going to be a... Um, it's going to be a slow process for a while out here. It's rough out here on the eastern front. But with Chanel, and hey, here's the thing about Chanel. Everybody can get him, right? Achievements in the challenge conquest. Get 70. Unlock Chanel. Everybody can do it. You need that bro. I mean, and if you need that bro with Germany, imagine how much you're going to need him with the other Axis countries. Imagine how much more you're going to need rumor on your generals playing with Spain and Italy. And then when you want to play maybe Hungary or Bulgaria. That is such an over powered perk that Chenault has. When I first uh, unlocked it, I seen that I was just like, oh yeah, that's pretty good, whatever. I didn't realize how well built um, the Soviets were going to be and how much I would need my new air general. I mean, 10 rounds, maybe we can um, advance. Maybe we'll get some advancing going on. Look, Abrams is still going to be a heavy hitter. When we get those five movement in, he's, he's still going to... He can drop a single bomb, right? I 
I mean, D-Day is not looking too D-Day for the Allies right now. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a problem. Yeah, and this is this uh, this landing attempt is a failure as well. Once we make sure nobody's getting landed, we can bring our rocket artillery back down here and demolish the French. We're gonna need some help. I don't think my my crapper tank bros are gonna be able uh, to to handle. Damn, we sure build technology slow. Oh, you know what else? You know, we're gonna do some uh, early technologies too. We're not gonna go too far deep into the tree. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and add all uh, the neutrals just so we can get that achievement out as well. Damn, double, double debuff at like the worst time. Look how great that perk is though. That perk is unmatched as like a defensive perk. Chenault is god level with that perk alone. Just give him that and he's good. God tier perk. Maybe one of the most... Um, well, I guess it just kind of pretty much just came out. But underappreciated, I bet. By a, by a lot of bros before 1943 Challenge Conquest came up. Alright, so we can get, um... We can get our... I'm trying to see who get, keeps giving rumor. Uh, we can... Oh, I guess it's just because we have the double debuff and they surrounded us. Um... We can get our infantry bros into Brazil. They can work their way up through Brazil into Mexico. Like I said, we'll add all those neutral countries. Give us a little bit of help going through there. Hit them up. Dude, because when, when um, the IS-3... Activate its attack perk. Bro. Even Munstein himself can't withstand that. Especially with multiple generals on IS-3s with their perks on. Bro. That's, that's what I had learned when I started this. I was like, hold on, what is going on? It was a little bit of a shock. Bradley tried to sneak in low. Oh, Bradley, you silly goose. Uh, yeah, we can, um... Let's have Monty just guard the coast and get the artillery bros. Handling the generals. Once we get these generals down, I mean, Africa should be really easy. But we definitely got some work to do here. And I'll put down my naval bros as needed. I really don't know where... Where we might need them the most, or even when we'll have extra money to place them, but... If something comes up, I'll, I'll definitely throw them... Throw them down... I put up a short today. I I don't know how many of you seen it, but I got my level five Hawkeye force. I think I was talking about that in another video. I was right about the what the perks do. I was shocked when I read that. It got our um, our critical strike from twenty to thirty percent for damage. And then, hold on, now I screwed it up. I've confused myself. Was it 20% to 30% chance? 
I think it was, and then the new perk you got was 30% more damage. Damn, I know. I looked and I got it right the first time talking about it. No, I probably screwed it up. Oof. Yeah, we got the look at Wingate. Yeah, bruh. Bradley's gonna make a, uh, a, a beautiful little spot for the fish at the bottom of the ocean. We gotta get the gall out of there, shit. The gall and Monty. They did give us quite a few combat medics. I should have I should have known from like that point like hold on they're giving us like seven combat medics hmm wonder what that means means that we might need them the south isn't that bad the north and center is a rough ride though and we are retreating Got him. Another general goes down. I should have been keeping track of how many of these bros we get down. We've got quite a few down, haven't we? There goes another one, hopefully. I go down in between rounds. The, the amount of health we're saving. Which is not dropping that perk is just amazing. Shit. They don't have many uh What was once a great elite force with generals on it is not so great anymore. One gate goes down. Arnold trying to land. Actually they got more people trying we yeah, we're gonna have to move some some shit down into Spain. Monty's holding his own out there on the coast. Boom! De Gaulle goes down. Get shit on, bro. All right, we're, we're starting to like shred generals. Even the uh, Walmart Munstein down here is full health. Shit's going good. I mean, I like, I, not only is the perk so useful, but it makes sense. I mean, you're getting strafed, you're getting bombed. I mean, you're going to hide for cover. You, you may not be able to fight back. Shit may be right up on you before you even know it. Rokosovsky down. Bagramian is stupid. And we can move on to Stalingrad. Stalingrad. I actually didn't... I... You know what? I hadn't actually planned on that North... Uh, UK landing, but they just let that Tiger go in there pretty much unopposed. I mean... Bro, why not? Why not throw down... Pit? I was gonna go across the English Channel, but shit. It'll probably work out better that way because we do have artillery to cross the English Channel. This is... Definitely harder than 39. It's really not even close. Hold on, they got... Okay, they got three left. Two left after that. Yermanko and Vaktutin. On elite units? Yeah. Oh my god, we're about to be able to start moving. 
Oh, Vasily, I do not want to engage you. I know how badass you were before in 39. I am not going to let you destroy my my two generals I got down here. I can't lose them. So if we can take London easy enough, uh, we'll drop to Vulcan. Actually, hold on. We got a we got another tiger. Yeah, we got another tiger right there. If we get him, I'm not going to cry. I think, you know what? Obviously, it's hard not to throw a general and get to work. But I think not putting Vidman on that tiger is what got him across so easy. So I'm not putting bro uh, to broken on that tiger until we get him across. And then we'll throw him down. Kind of like the old, if you put a unit down on a city, you know, like 50 and 60 in the old school World of Conqueror 3, you didn't want to put a general on it while he was on the city. Damn, the center besides Vatutin sitting on Kursk is open. The north still got I mean, we still got some work to do in the north, but Damn, it's collapsing quick. Oh, Munstein. Th Bro, there it is. What went from they still got a good uh army group n like northish defense gone. I guess that would be army group center, but they've kind of combined at this point. Yeah, we got those bros down there just at the right time. All right, well, now we can start moving across now that we got uh, that general on the cruiser down. With our good shit. Man, Monty's put it. Let's not take away the work that Monty did. Right? Guy held that down from the the landings of the Brazil army. Like they didn't even get close. I was honestly, I was worried. Right? I didn't know. I didn't think he was gonna be able to hold it. I was just wanting him to slow it down. I didn't know he'd absolutely stop it. Give props to Monty, I guess. And here I moved him down. You know, I ordered my generals, you know, kind of in order of how badass I thought they were. And uh, Monty, <laughs> Monty got moved down to second to last. Right ahead of bro I use as a technology general. I want Moscow. Nice, got it. Briance cleared. Matutin cleared. Marshall kind of had a slow start. There was a there was a few like one and duns in there. More than a few or two and duns. He's he's picked it up recently. I mean, look at this army we have over here on the eastern front. This is a this is what you call an army. All these elite units with with just badass generals. Oh, we got we got the Brazilian bro trying to land in here. We also got Kessel Ring. To help out with uh, Brazil if need be. If we need help getting our infantry across there to land, we got him to help out. He can he can do some pretty good bombing. And London will will clear that as soon as we can get Lieb. 
Libby and Kluger landed. And uh, we can send those two tank bros in Spain. We can send those to Cuba. Damn, it's a godforsaken bloodbath now. Look, they, they ain't. German army is not stopping for shit right now. Japan did hold on, at least a little bit. Make use of some of those combat medics. Pacific's pretty um, populated. We can also get these bros moved out to the US too. Lonnie's still putting in work. Lonnie's making his, look, he, he's going for a raise. Bro has put in some work. Oh uh, yeah, we're still on technologies. And that's going to be a wrap for the UK. We got bros coming down from the south. We got infantry bros landing. We got naval bros. We got Kluga. We got Lieb. Put a fork in them. They are done. I'm thinking we might try to get the uh, tank bros that are in Spain and our walking Stuka artillery bros in North Africa. And send them like to Cuba and once they clear Cuba they can you know maybe go into the southern US get Sweden on board yeah bros at some point guys I'm gonna have to add the Swiss it hurts but I'm gonna have to do it because I'm gonna add all the neutral countries just to make sure I get that uh, achievement I, I don't know how many uh, neutral countries you got to play with, but I know if I add them all, um, we'll be good. Yeah, this should be a wrap, right? At least, you know, I don't even think I mean, we will take Island out with just some air power so we can get all these bros moving to the US right away. Right, are they moving in on our infantry bros trying to cross? We might need some Kessel Ring action. We do have a Kessel Ring that we were getting. Boom! A France goes down. Have to bust up the old general we were given. A little bit of little air power on him. The other, um, we got the other Kluga on the walking Stuka, and then we got Brauschwitz. I don't think he's gonna get involved in anything else. He is slow on that Gustav. He's getting like three movement. He might as well find a city and park it. Find a city, find himself a nice, uh, Twitch thought. Have a family. That's the way I like to think of, uh, the Brauschwitz ending. Now, Wikipedia might tell you something different. But let me assure you. Brauschwitz got on a Gustav. He went into some of the... Some Stan country. Met himself a nice Twitch thought and started a family. Facts. Alright, so... We got... We'll finish adding up um, the rest of the Middle Eastern countries. We'll get them on board. Turkey and Iraq and Iran. And then once we get landed, we can add the South American countries. I mean, this right here is a juggernaut. Like, how would you stop this wall of generals? 
I think this is the most generals I've ever had. Vanilla game on the Eastern Front ever. Man, the Soviet Union started out stacked. That was a rough start, especially the first time around. When I I hadn't decided, well, I didn't even have um, Chenault's perk all the way max, so it was only hitting at 80%. And I was just like, hold on a sec. If I put this bro on the eastern front and max him out, start each round, I might be onto something. With some rumor on all the generals as well. I mean, realistically, let's think about this, though. Let's give this a little bit of a thought process. Deavers. Why would Deavers come out there by himself? Easy target. Yeah, Kessler Ring, we need you, bro. For this... So, as I was saying, for this exact scenario... Where mainly you're needing all these rumor generals on the Eastern Front... Boom! Belgium goes down. But you also have... You also have your Chenault, bro. Boom! Egypt goes down. Do all those tank generals really need rumor? I mean, you are going to get the attack phase from them. But you're not going to get any counters. Switch sides. I said they switch sides. Anyways, I think I'd still roll with rumor on them all. Even though. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I think I think rumor on all the generals was a good call. Because, I mean, boom, Mongolia goes down. You're not going to have a, a Chenault on every front. Maybe a different country is going to be a little bit more uh, uh, rough. You know, you need um, multiple rumored generals on multiple fronts. Not to mention... Yeah, I talked myself out of it. Rumor on all of them for sure, because... Um... It'll save you a little bit of money. I mean, because you're going to be... You're going to be strafing bros. So they don't get on any counterattack with Chanel bro. But... If you already got them stupid, you don't need to do that. So, I mean, it's going to save you a little bit of money. In the, in the long run, having some rumor on your generals. Chanel won't have to uh, strafe as many generals. And you need every little monies you can get starting out. You know, Monstein, let's talk about the Monstein start. He had some ups and downs starting. There was there was more than a few times he was one and two and done. Like kind of when we needed him the most. And if, if it wasn't for our air bro and our other generals it could have been really rough but since the start munchkin has been pretty good he's been dropping some bombs he's getting a lot of multiple hits in all right we are coming up on the big landing day in canada I'm start, bros, I'm starting to feel it, right? We can start adding some South American countries, but I'm starting to feel the wind coming. Um, to, well, at first, it was harder than I thought, and um, it's taking longer than I thought. Although I should have been ready for it, because it's pretty much the same as World Conquer 3 when they added... 1943 into that it was like it was it was a pretty big step up. I don't know if it was this big a step up. I think 
the difference is is bigger i think boom the roc goes down i think the challenge mode 1943 for world conquer 4 is much harder Infantry bows cooking. I don't know if we'll, we'll get the uh, rest of our naval bros down or not. I don't know if we'll need them. Venezuela. God, I gotta. That's, the Swiss. Oh, that hurt. That's not a good feeling. To have to ally with your arch enemy, the backstabbers. The O were neutral, but secretly backstabbing. Yeah, I know all about you, Swiss. Besides our new air general being having that badass perk, it's just nice having three air generals. And we actually have an emergency um, fourth if we ha if we haven't placed Eisenhower in whatever um, conquest we're doing. Boom! India goes down. Damn you! Do you see um, Saudi Arabia? You know they're putting out some spam. Maybe I should have added those bros a little bit earlier. You know how India comes in hard on like uh, Stalingrad? Should probably add Saudi Arabia in right when um, you start seeing Indian troops near Stalingrad. Probably be the perfect timing. Let's not take... I mean, we can't take away from Monty what he has been able to do. What a absolute chat he's been. And he ain't working with much, guys. Bro don't got much to work with, with in terms of perks. I think I might have one rib. No, I don't have any ribbons on him, actually. Yeah, I don't have any ribbons on him. I mean, he's getting it done with very little. Me praising Monty was not in my list of things that I expected to happen in this conquest, but it did. Canadians. All right, let's see. Let's see how hard this uh, defense is going to be as we push in here from the north. Get a little feel for how this is going to play out. Brazil, boom, Brazil goes down. bros i forgot i don't know um somebody had mentioned this in the comments when i, when I released the video of the update being out that there is actually more tech to unlock in the missile and nuclear weapon um tab there's quite a few actually I might put up a short about that just to make sure everybody knows because I would have net if if the bro in the comments didn't say so I'd have never noticed that I'd have never even checked that is not something I would have looked for I don't know if all these bros are going to be able to get landed in the US or not
You know, like, missile technologies, um... With missile technologies, we can get our bro going off from Hawaii onto the west coast of the U.S. Drop some missile technology, get spats going out. Going out to Hawaii and then build him some missile technologies. The final one, Porch Ugol. So we'll definitely get that achievement. Boom, the UK goes down. Boom, Australia goes down. They're dropping like flies now. Air power here, never hurt. Boom, the Soviet Union goes down. Allies looking like they're trying they're trying to put in some work and help out. Looks like Cuba's gonna be an easy clear. A little bit of extra damage with our naval vessels and um we should have the northeast cleared up pretty quick. Plus we got doubting coming in. Dowding. I miss that mod. I need to stop saying Dowding because it makes me miss the World War One mod for uh, European War Four. Those were the days. Nice. Perfect setup. And Broschwitz is almost down. I mean, we got tons of money. Let's clear out at least their aircraft carriers, maybe some of the destroyers that are around Hawaii. Um, probably not the elite aircraft carrier. That's going to take too long. Well, as soon as we can get a city close enough to that. I'll start missile technology a lot more cities out there. Yeah, it's looking like maybe capture a couple more main cities with our tanks and artillery and then we need to just open up. With air, with air power, air technology, air power and missile technologies. Maybe take Boston, New York, Washington with our ground units and bomb everything else. Get Cuba ready to fall. Then now we can open up some more cities, grab some shit. Infantry bros, you're moving too slow. Oh, now they want to... Now they want to have a navy. Where were you earlier? Alright, our first landing in Alaska. Nice. Sure they don't take that again. Get Cube out of here. Boom! A Cuba goes down. Man, we are quickly approaching a wrap. Dude, I'm gonna dread F I am going to absolutely dread every single Axis country I gotta play with. Like, I'm playing with the strongest one, and it took this long. Bruh. Boom! Mexico goes down. 
So, US and Canada, we meet again. As the final ones up. I mean, Doubting's putting in a little bit of work. Nice, nice to see that, Doubting. I think Doubt. Oh, yeah, I moved Doubting to the third general. He's got the, uh, the third place medals and ribbons now. Yeah, most of these aren't even going to make it. They're just a few bros in Alaska and that's it. I don't even think we're going to be able to use our other air bro either. Doubting's probably for damage. Yeah, they're probably about the same. Missile technologies. Nice. Nice to see you again. Yeah, now Japan has the great navy. We couldn't take Midway and couldn't take Hawaii. I do see they're less strong on land for sure in 43. All right, we just need to get some bros in place to take some docks. And one or two rounds, we're good. What a journey. I should have recorded my my first attempt. Not knowing and you know what was gonna happen, not knowing what to expect. You would have seen my me like jaw drop, like what in the hell? The Soviet Union is strong as shit. Boom, Canada goes down. I was not expecting that strong of Soviet Union. Let's see, US has two cities. Yep. Bros, we've done it. Our first 1943 challenge. Conquest 29 rounds. Let's see. So... We got that completed. Need more cities. Obviously need a lot more of that. Ribbons, medals, alpini, ribbons. All right, bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, so back in for our next upload. Peace, Brumanati out.